The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Cooler Master V8. GTS CPU air cooler. A fabulous looking box that has lots of pictures of the product on it as well as plenty of features and specifications about it. They have two security seals, one at the top and another one at the bottom. Let me cut the top one and let's see what's inside. Included is an accessory box and I'll open it up in just a minute so we can see what is inside. They include a user's manual as well as warranty information. Packaged very well. Styrofoam here at the top, more at the bottom. And here's the cooler. They've got a couple strips of cardboard here on either side to keep the spacing right. And so things don't get bent in shipment. Now let's have a closer look at this cooler. First though, let's have a look at what's included in the accessory box. You've got brackets and clips and screws and everything else that you'll need to install this on pretty much any current socket. I'll list on the screen what sockets are supported. They also include a tube of thermal compound. Now this is one humongous CPU air cooler. It measures in at 154 by 149.8 by 166.5 millimeters. The heatsink dimension though is 154 by 40 by 153.5 and the heatsink weighs in at 854 grams. Now this cooler has that engine feel to it. It has, you know, all kinds of fins and fans and pipes and all that kind of stuff going on with it. I think the overall appearance on this is really amazing. Now, this cooler has eight six millimeter heat pipes, lots, and I do mean lots of aluminum fins. You've got three sets of them, one on either side and one sandwiched between everything else. Also, the base plate is nice and smooth, and they have this vapor chamber technology, which basically reduces the hot spots. Now they include two 140 by 20 millimeter fans, and these are actually red LED fans. The fan speed is between 600 to 1600 RPMs. The airflow is from 28 to 82, and the noise level is 36 decibels, but of course that's going to vary on the speed that you have the fans set at. Now they include this POM or polyoxymethylene bearing. This is the fourth generation bearing for Cooler Master with this particular fan. And what this means, of course, is you're going to get really good performance and long life. And of course, this comes out of the box with everything configured. Some coolers will come with the heat sink separate from the fans and you will need to attach the fans yourself. This is all together, so it's a time saver. Also, these fans have four pin connections and they do have a Y power adapter here with a four pin end. So this will get connected into your motherboard's fan header. And in case you're wondering, the power consumption of the fans is 3.72 watts and the weight is 110 grams. Now just have a closer look at all of the LEDs. They kind of shine through here at the top as well as on the sides and at the bottom. I think it looks really, really sharp. Finally, have a listen to the two 140 millimeter fans, keeping in mind that I will be testing these at full speed. So what you have here is a very robust CPU air cooler that will have no problem keeping even the hottest overclocked CPUs cool. Sure, it is humongous and it's not going to fit in every single case that's on the market and check that before you purchase this product. However, considering the performance, the look, the overall build quality on this, without a doubt, it is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, 
Take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.